Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'd like to show you how to crochet a hand uh, washcloth. And this is how it looks. And it's basically a granny square. But uh, this is really, really nice. I'm using 100% um, cotton yarn. And it just looks really nice and it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. Anyway, so if you guys are interested in learning how I crochet this, then please continue watching, okay? I'm gonna complete one more just to complete this basket out. Then I can uh, add this to my uh, bathroom. For supplies, you will be needing an H hook, it's a five millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, one of these tapestry needles, and the yarn I'm using today is the Lily Sugar and Cream Comb yarn and it's 100% cotton and this is in the color Poopery. Let's get started. Alright, uh, to get started we'll start off with the magic circle. So to begin, uh, just take the end tail, wrap it around, okay, and I'm just gonna put my hook underneath and then grab this yarn and pull up and I'm just gonna pinch where it is right here and that's the magic circle okay so uh, I'm going to start off with a chain three one two three this chain three um, will count as a double crochet I'm gonna tighten the magic circle a little bit but uh, yeah, from now on, uh, the chain three at the beginning of each row um, does count as a double crochet. And uh, to this, we're going to add three more double crochets. Yarn over, pull up, yarn, uh, pull through two, and then pull through two. Yarn over, pull up, pull through two, and then pull through two. Okay, one more. Okay, and then uh, after you put four double crochet in, chain two, and then we're gonna do the same thing and put four more double crochet into the magic circle. We're gonna basically do this um, two more times after this set of four double crochets. That's three, four, okay? And if you want, you can just uh, pull it over. Uh, chain two, and then four more double crochet. So this is a very, very simple design. Uh, this is what um, one of my subscribers asked me to uh, make a video on. So, this is why I'm doing this video. Three, four. Okay, that's four more double crochets. Okay, chain two. And then last uh, cluster here, okay? Four more double crochets. Okay, chain two. All right, and if you want, go ahead and close out your circle, tighten it by pulling that tail. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the initial chain three. One, two, three. Okay, and that does uh, complete round one. Now to begin, row two, chain three. Okay, that again counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to basically be making um, uh, double crochets in the next three chains. So 
The next one is this one right here. One. Two. Okay, one more right here. Three. Okay, so that's four double crochet so far. Now in this chain two space, we're going to be um, making two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochet, all in the same two uh, chain two space. So here's one double crochet, two, chain two, and then two more double crochet in the same space. Okay. That will basically make our corners okay and then to begin the next one go ahead and uh, make double crochets into the next four chains and just to let you know the next one you'll be making is like right here I don't know if you can see this little sp spot right here you might have to pull your yarn back a little bit but right here is the first chain one. Let me grab some more yarn. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Now, same thing. This next chain two space will be doing the same cluster. So, two double crochet, chain two, and then two more double crochets. And we'll form this corner. Okay, chain two. Okay. All right, I'm going to move this over and then put four double crochets into the next four chains. So again, this little spot right here. One. Two. three and four next chain two space same thing two double crochet chain two oops and then two more double crochet okay completes that corner move that over double crochet into the next four double crochet or um, next four chains one two three four okay to complete this row we're gonna do the same cluster in this corner so two double crochet Okay, chain two, and then two more double crochet. All right, that completes this row. Uh, last thing you need to do is just slip stitch into the third, um, third chain of the initial three. One, two, three. Okay, that does complete row two. Row three, one, uh, chain three, one, two, three. And then same thing, we're going to be putting uh, double crochet into the next few chains bef until we reach uh, right before the next corner. So in this case, we're going to, I don't know if you can see that, but here's the next chain to put the double crochet in. That's two double crochet so far. Three. Four. Five. And then one more. The last one right here. This is the last one before we do the corner. Okay, that's six. Uh, when we come back all the way around here, we'll be adding um, two double crochets back here to finish it, okay? 
so don't worry. So let's do that corner uh, cluster. So chain two into this chain two space. Chain two and two more double crochet. Okay, and then double crochets into the next until you until you reach the uh, next uh, corner. Okay, so that's one double crochet so far. Two, three. Four, five, six. Let me grab some more yarn. Seven, and then eight. Okay. And then here's the chain two space on the corner. Let's do the corner cluster here. Chain two. I'm sorry, two double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochet. Okay, and then of course, move this over so you can get to your first chain here after the chain two space and make your double crochet so there's one so if you continue on there's going to be eight double crochet and then your corner clusters and then eight and then uh, i'll meet you back here and show you how to uh end round three okay so i just finished my corner cluster on um, this is round three and i'm going to put uh my last two double crochet into the initial row that we did so chain uh, yarn over and then of course do your double crochet there and then one last one okay there you go and uh, we're going to do the same thing by slip stitching into the third chain of the initial three and that does complete round three so basically from rows four through eight is going to be exactly the same except of course you're going to be increasing there's going to be more um, double crochets in each row and then of course you do your corner so i'm going to just go ahead and start it right now just to show you but it's the same exact thing chain three and then of course this little chain right here next to it is where you put your next double crochet and then you continue along so you put one two three four five six more and then do your corner clusters okay i apologize for uh taking such a long break from youtube um i've just been super busy with my uh job and of course i've been uh camping as a way of getting away so of course when we're camping you really don't have any signal so just being unplugged okay so here's the corner so i will just go ahead and do the cluster of two double crochets chain two and then one double crochet in the same chain two space and that makes this corner Okay, I'm going to just pull it over here and join over and put your first double crochet here and then continue on. That's one, two, and here's your last one. Okay before the chain two space 12 okay let's do your uh, cluster here in the corner oh, i'm so used to pulling out uh, of a, a skin uh, in the middle i don't like the one that just wraps around and 
things get tangled the cone okay chain uh, two double crochet chain two and two more double crochet guys I am working on a bigger uh, video I'm, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I made my shawl with pockets it just takes a little bit longer because it is a bigger project but it will be coming I promise okay all right so this is row four so continue with the same exact pattern until you get eight rows to eight rows and then I'll come back and show you how um, to finish off this uh, dishcloth okay guys I just I'm on the last stitch here this is how it should look very cute right there's eight rows one two three four five six seven eight and I'm gonna show you how to finish this off okay I'm gonna put in my last double crochet okay and we're gonna do the same thing slip stitch to the top of that third chain okay all right and we're gonna finish this off by making a row of single crochet so chain one and in that chain make single crochet and a single crochet in the the rest of the round okay and that sh that is the last round okay that's row nine If you really wanted to, uh, you could always stop at row eight, change out your yarn, and make a border of a different color. But I'm just gonna keep it kind of monochromatic because that's how I like things. But yeah, these are good size uh, washcloths, dishcloths. Um, if you want to use it as a dishcloth, um, feel free to make a kind of like a loop at any one of these corners so you can hang them or whatever you want. But I'm just going to keep them um, simple, just a square. And uh, when you get to the corner, the one of the corners, we're putting in three single crochets into the, uh, each corner, okay? To each two. Uh, two chain space one two three and then of course put in your single crochet in this next chain right here and then continue down the line and putting in a single crochet in each chain then of course when you get to the next chain two space put in three single crochet there so that's it I'm gonna do this real quickly and come back and uh, show you how I finish off this project. Okay, I'm making my last single crochet, this last chain, and then finishing off, I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. Okay, and we are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors. Just cut the tail and just tie off okay yeah basically done the only thing we need to do now is to go ahead and just weave in the ends as usual let me do this one first just cut off the excess okay and the next thing is just the original tail from when we did the uh, magic circle. Okay, and we are done. I'm gonna zoom out and show you guys how it looks. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. It's approximately 10 inch by 10 inch. Yep, 10 inch square. It's perfect. And I just like to fold it Roll it up. 
I'm going to add it to my last, to my uh, little tray here. Isn't that adorable, guys? Look. Um, before you gift this or use it for yourself, um, I would recommend um, washing these in a delicate cycle uh, and drying it, uh, not so high heat, delicate cycle as well. And just fold them up and gift them this way or put it in your bathroom and then use these as face, face cloths. Or if you want to put these under your kitchen sink and you can use these as uh, dish cloths, anything you want. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please give my video a thumbs up and also subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. I appreciate you watching. Have a blessed day, everyone. Thank you.